you need a new graphics card for your gaming rig or your workstation. Let's take a look at some of the main things to look for in a GPU. Choosing a graphics card is often said to be one of the hardest parts about picking parts for your new rig or upgrading your rig. Price and performance are the two biggest factors when you're talking about looking at a new GPU. The price is usually going to be dictated by your budget divided by three because typically the rule is to use about a third of your budget on your GPU if you're building a gaming rig. And if you're building a workstation rig, that will really depend on what you're doing with it and how your program takes advantage of it. After you pick your GPU itself, you have to think about do you want a reference cooler or a board partner's cooler? As mentioned, you're typically going to be spending about a third of your budget on your GPU. So once you know exactly what other parts you're putting in your system, then you can take that third that you've kind of budgeted for and see if you have any extra that you can take to put you up maybe a price bracket before deciding that that GPU that you need, you have to take a look at what games you're going to be playing or what programs you're going to be using and how much they benefit from having a more powerful GPU. You also have to take a look at say game settings, what resolution you're going to be working at, and what frame rate you want. Once you've determined each of these factors, then you have to take a look at exactly what you want. And does the GPU in your price bracket take and meet these expectations, or does it exceed it? And do you really want to pay extra to exceed what you're hoping, or are you fine with the settings and games and frame rate you've chosen? Remember, games in a year are going to be harder to run and you're going to want to keep the same settings and the same frame rate. So you have to expect to, at the beginning, have your GPU have a little bit of extra kick to it so that way you can hopefully in a year play games at the same settings and same frame rate. Although nothing is future proof. So once you've decided on what you want those settings to be, take and go look at the GPUs that are in your price bracket that you've determined earlier and see where they fit. Do those GPUs underperform, perform, or overperform where you're hoping to meet? If it's an overperform, take and find what GPU is going to perform well now and typically go one step above that is what I recommend. Chances are there's going to be more than one that fits. So take a look at what the best performance per dollar is. I hope this guide helped you if you're in the market for a new GPU. And remember to go check out the rest of the series. I did one on SSDs last week. And I hope to see you in the next one. Here's one thing you're going to notice about your SSD more than anything else when using your computer.